Hello, this is Texas Toy Review, and today we have Mayhem from uh, the Ghostbusters line. These are new figures out uh, from the new movie. Uh, this is made by Mattel. Uh, look at the packaging. He comes in the card back uh, with the plastic bubble protector. You can put your finger in there to uh, test him out before you buy him. But yeah, look at the packaging. It's Ghostbusters slime on the background there. And then if you look at the back, you have uh, the other figures you can get, which I kind of remember. Uh, I think there's a burnt Stay Puft Marshmallow Man, but I'm not too sure. Uh, I think they came out with a burnt one of those, but uh, they aren't showing him there. But yeah. Uh no right up on the figure huh. go figure uh, I guess they scale with the minifigures um, so if you were wanting to collect something to scale with him there you go the minifigures are the way to go um, these should run about the same size as the regular figures uh, that you're gonna see in the stores that are running I think $20 a piece uh, this one cost me $14.99. I got it at Hastings, which does tend to run a little bit more expensive than other, other stores. Uh, but I hear you can get them for as low as $9.99, which that's a really good deal. $14.99 wasn't a bad deal at all either. So I'm happy with him. Uh, he's made of a translucent plastic. Get some light shining through him. Uh, he does have a gimmick, which... There you go. He has a green light in his chest, which is kind of cool. Whoa. Um, the molding details on this guy is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty cool. Uh, he has, he has molding details all throughout him. You can see his rib cage is molded. He has molding up in, up in his collar, um, all along his back. It's like all spiny and everything. You get the tail. Uh, he has six fingers and a thumb. Six fingers and a thumb. And then six toes and a big toe. So he has seven toes. He has this look on his face. He's like, what's up? Yeah, he's pretty cool. I like the translucent plastic for the thing. It's That's pretty neat. Um, for articulation... You get a head swivel. You can turn his head all the way around. It kind of catches here at his shoulder. So I might not want to do that. I might rub the paint off of his tongue. Don't want to do that. Um, then you get... Well, you can get a full 360 if you wanted to. These uh, wings are on a hinge joint. So you can move them back. Then you can get a 360 at the shoulder. Um, his shoulders do move up about that high. And then at the elbow, you get a little bit more than a 90 degree angle. And you move it back down. You also get a swivel there, which that's kind of cool. And the thighs, they are swivel jointed. <laughs> They are swivel jointed there, so you get some movement there. The tail has no articulation unless you consider uh, bending the tail a little bit uh, to be articulation, but no, it's just a soft plastic tail. It doesn't actually move. Um, really cool figure. Uh, this would be a new villain in the new Ghostbusters movie. Um, really excited. That's, that's pretty cool. Look forward to seeing it. But yeah, uh, definitely recommend picking him up. Um, a lot of articulation. He does not really scale well with uh, the new Ghostbusters figs as far as it goes. Because I think he's supposed to be much bigger than them. Uh, but he's still a cool figure. Still a really cool figure there. Uh, so he gets my thumb of approval. Uh... If you like our review, please click like and please subscribe to see more of them. Thank you.